gentlemen welcome to matrix shopping app download the app to get the remaining of this interview we got a lot to talk about uh, I'm here to introduce Paul Tim Austin and our topic today most of y'all know him as Austin but our topic today is basically uh, should Muhammad run for president that's that's a trending topic in Guyana and um, what do you think? You think uh, Mohammed should run for president? Um, I feel that it's time now that we should get a man for the people, a man who feels the people, a man who know separation to help the people. You know, one of the things that um, bothers me, nobody, no politicians right now in interest of fighting for poor people, none. When I look at these medias, you know, and I look to like Mr. Glenn Lallanark and everything, you know, they're fighting for the island, for the share or the pie and all kind of thing. But when it gets down to the real bottom issue where poor people are suffering, it's only Mr. Hamid, Mr. Mohammed looking in those kind of everybody calling for him. You know, at one time I feel that this man is Jesus, everybody just, you know. I, I look in Vrayan where we got two um, special need men and they was um, asking me um, Mr. for Mr. Mohammed's phone number. I said I never even know that man. I don't even see the man, see the man giving away a gift and so forth. I don't know the get to the man. I see them with two brand new wheelchair and the same Mr. Mohammed looking after the trackway, you know, but I can't with it. Now, was yesterday or day before yesterday here, Mr. Critics is talking about that. Um, before you get to critics, let me interject here. Now, I seen in the comments there was a page, it got a couple, well, um, hun, uh, about close to 100,000 views, but on TikTok, just a simple picture um, Muhammad for president, right? As Redeem. And there was in the comments, somebody said, well, Pablo Escobar did the same thing. He used to help out poor people and all these things so i'm not i'm just being devil's advocate right now because i want you to think i want people to think um mr muhammad has no experience in the political arena he never ran for president he's doing good he's doing real good i would vote for him if he uh let me just put that out there if he decided to run for president but what experience does he have? He's got to get a powerful political team. Uh, let me say this. Ghana don't want a politician. We need a leader. Okay, like like Trump. Trump Trump wasn't a politician. He's a, he was a billionaire. Thank you. Okay. And he lead. Mm -hmm. I would say lead well. Yeah, yeah. Because all the war in this time, right? There was not over. No. Mm -hmm. And why we're trying to erupt in this time with Putin, mm. right? He know how to go wrong, these men. Mm. And him to North Korea, right. at one time, he go and visit that country yeah. mm -hmm. and talk to his enemy and cool him down. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So when it come to Mr. Mohammed mm. and leadership and politics and all kind of thing, he don't need a politician now. We need a leader. We are a small nation, yeah. right? You can't play politics with the people because politics with the people for years, I see the country going down, mm. the wealth has vanished, mm. and the people are suffering. All right, I just want to interject this. If he could take his own money and uh, distribute it to poor people, build infrastructure, because I think there was something in um, Georgetown where he put the lights on the on the field of a sports field so if he could take his own money and do that uh, just imagine if he was in control of the wealth of the country because he doesn't need the money he wouldn't rob the treasury like most politicians do he wouldn't need to because he got his own money uh i back your thousand percent with you let me tell the story mm. about mr Mahami. Mm. he stopped on the bridge that yeah. you went to a wedding in Skellen or something. There was two or three Sundays ago. 
I want to stop at the bridge. The cake man was there. And he called the cake man. Mm. He said, Look, give all the boys them. He said, You, you have the motorbike man. Oh, you, you, you need something bigger than they say for doing business. Mm. Right? And the man said, Look, I'm going to call you money. Right? And you need something bigger and better. Mm. And it's surprising to me to know when I look on Facebook, I see the guy with, you know, with a seven hundred and fifty thousand dollar motorbike, there's a three wheel bike. Mm, mm, mm. I was I, I was shot so quick, right. so quick, and that guy extend his business mm. bigger and better. This is the kind of people we're looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, understand? We don't need people to stifle off taxpayers' money. Right. You know, I want to say this. I want to say this. You know, I remember was year 2016. The 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 the, the skeleton factory. Mm. The one wapa chapo for corn and corn decay. So the opposition voted for the money before they left, right? Mm, mm. Voted for the money. And the previous government going there and said, look, they say we're going to cut it. And they take the people from Skelly and I'll tell you how people could be so influenced mm. doing the wrong thing. They take the people from Skelly and kind of in front of parliament building and they protest. Say, we need the Wapa Chapa money. We need. When the Wapa Chapa come and the bell loader come, mm. they have no use for you. Mm -hmm. So you are protesting to put your own self out of a job. Right. <laughs> people need to let people stop leading them in nonsense. Mm -hmm. That is how Jim Jones killed the people at Jonestown. About a thousand, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. By influence them. And that is what the politician doing. Our guy needs to be careful with that bottom house meeting. Mm -hmm. And that is where segregation is passing. Mr. Larry, I want to say something. Mm. And this thing is burning me inside. Mm -hmm. I live in Guyana, burn, grow, and work. And the, 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 the amount of benefit the founders is getting in my country, mm. I cannot dream forget it in the next thousand years. Right. Now, this. Guyanese businessman mm. got to pay taxes, mm. duties, right. the revenue, mm. and the parents coming, they pay paying nothing, right. they're exploiting your resources and carry it away, and everybody think everything. You know, Guyanese got a tendency when you talk about your resources, let, let them people let it in. You're going to look what? No, 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 no. That resources is ours. Mm. It's not the government, the opposition, mm. or, or, or a set of group of people. It's all of us own. The people, yeah. And because know. of the people divide Larry, mm. make these politicians to do what they want. Well, that's been since creation, divide and conquer. Thank you. Yeah. That was a strategy from mm. since master days. Right. But Larry, I think because of technology today, yeah. mm. because of people, because in master days, it was forbidden mm. to read and write. Right. It was forbidden mm. to you to go on the pulpit and preach. Right. Right? Yeah. But today, all that has changed. Yeah, yeah, with technology. Exactly. So we need Larry to open his eyes and see what these people is doing with us in front of naked eyes yeah yeah i agree a thousand percent but there's something you said about critics before i had uh, interrupted you so critics said muhammad as you know is going back and forth uh according to what i understand critics when he first started right is that critics somebody named george was an amerindian guy named george some people had give critics this money to distribute to George. And Garden Mosley highlighted this thing what critics did. It's almost like critics withheld the money, right? Yes. But here what I do, I just go and crit this is in the beginning stage of critics' popularity. Critics got popular 
to that video where we smash the the thing on the wheel that's how critics got popular and from then i went and after he must have got the money i went on the page and i left a review give my i didn't wasn't disrespectful i didn't say i just left a review i must have rated a one star but i left a review and i said man give give judge his money or whatever it was nothing disrespectful all of a sudden critics block me because i tell you about judge <laughs> Now, I don't understand them thing, right? You block somebody just for telling you, though. But I, I feel no way that you got the right. It's your page. You could block whoever you want to block. But now if you see critics' page, critics' review section is turned off. So that means there's a lot of people who don't like critics, and critics know this, so he turned off his complete review section. The other thing now, Critics, according to Mr. Muhammad, you remember you gotta be able to provide receipts. And the people who Mr. Muhammad, they went in, they had some accident at Critics Company. Now here's the messed up part. The guy was operating, I believe the crane, he died, he's the breadwinner of the family. The Muhammads then give critics $5 million. And critics give the the family four hundred and I believe eighty thousand dollars, which is nine point seven percent when I did the calculations. Now, critics has always been this person. He now one he had the incident with George. People give give critics money for George, and now. Muhammad, the Muhammad's them give critics a five million to give to the family. What happened? Critics go in now on the Muhammad's them and said, you're, you're trying to think my integrity? And then he start going on, going on. I'm not the one who uh, paid off somebody when so-and-so got killed. Now, I don't know the full story. I don't know what happened. I'm assuming that one of uh, Mr. Muhammad's bodyguard might have um, you know released around and somebody died i'm only assuming that right because there's no way uh mr muhammad them uh going and kill somebody um run up in the house and kill anybody and then the person is taking money so i'm just assuming i don't know the full story but it just goes to show you critics now has gone to a point where he used to be amongst these people these people have helped them. These people have done all kind of things to him. And now we turn around and start back. By all the time he knew all of this, now he got secrets, so and so called secrets for uh, Muhammad's them. But all the time you knew that. When the money was flowing and everything was good, you didn't have no problem. You didn't speak out. But all of a sudden, now you're speaking out. So he's like a, a double-edged, um, what, what we would say? A double, you know? No, what I'm Larry, saying? I want to say something. Ungratefulness is worse than which Yeah, it is. yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, what critics is trying to prove on his page, he's trying to justify himself with his wrong. And even to the devil in hell, get a friend mm. right but um only the wise mind could see through what critics is trying to do now critics say beside what you talk there mm. critics say you see mr mohammed i can't leave the country and blah 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 yeah L let me say one thing the president of Suriname couldn't have left both mr both the south couldn't have left Suriname. Mm. But the people stood up for him. Yeah, yeah. The people of Sona love him. They even had a protest last year yeah, in Suriname for bring back Mr. Bautasa. Mm. But the man get big. Mm. Right? So I don't care about what critics said. Right. I judge a man based on his action. Right. You understand? Because let critics match up mm. with Mr. Mahmoud. Right. We have a key. Can't, can't match up. He can't. 
All he's doing is part of this body, cuss down the body, yeah. abuse down the... We don't need that in society anymore. No. We are civilized people. Right. You don't have nothing to give nobody. Mm. Don't talk anything. Right. You know, I, I, I want to say this. Uh, before yesterday, a woman was asking for hundred dollars. Mm. And she asked this guy for hundred dollars. And this guy get a whole lot and talk and say, yo, mm. not the only woman come for. She come for a lecture. Mm. You don't have nothing to give, keep quiet. Right. And just say, you know, woman I door. And right. she come for a lecture. Right. So Mr. Critics is a lecturer. Mm. A lecturer of nonsense. For me, not me to actually make sense. Mm. The man is a man, he there with the bag there. Right, where the money there? Right, if the bag is not there, mm. he in there. Right. He will with, with, with attack you mm. just so this other man that he could get a bread from the man. Yeah. Now, all the time, when the thing running good, mm. he attack with Mr. Mohammed, I would say one thing. Mr. Mohammed, stand up for the wrong things that Pritik do. And Pritik is saying that he should never do done that. Right. So Pritik is hanging him out for the soap running. Yeah. But when he got the soap, he ain't sharing no soap and he nobody. Right. I could remember, you know, Mr. Mohammed, the uh, Pritik said a lot of good things mm. about Mr. Mohammed way back when, you know, today. Yeah. The soap, like it get hot. Right. So like, he, 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 you know, start that a set of things make no sense. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. The man is a man for the people. If a man for that is all well, mm. and share it among the people. You know, he make, I remember the president in the country, one of the poorest president, the step 80% of his salary, I remember the country name, and share it and give it to the people. Right? Anyway, one of the thing is, Mr. Mohammed, look, I glad if he run. Yeah. yeah. Because only he can't leave country. Right. Or he can't leave. And believe me, mm -hmm. Larry, mm -hmm. if that man run, mm -hmm. I work with him tirelessly. Mm -hmm. Because for right now, the two party, mm -hmm. the major party and the ruling party, them two make no sense. No sense. No sense. I will tell you something. Mm -hmm. You want to tell you something? Mm -hmm. Believe me. And I want people to listen to this. Mm. If after no going in power, nothing will not change. The expectation of our resources will be the same thing. Mm. If PPP said it could be the same thing. Right. That man policy mm. is the same thing. Mm. It's, to, it's to enrich the self, the right. friends, and the family. And I want people to know this. I want people to know this. Nobody in this country are not benefiting from being racial. Not if if there is any benefits for being racial, yeah show it to me. Mm. Show it to me. Mm. Because don't care which party going forward, all of them is your friends mm. and family. End of story. Right. The same bill that you gotta pay, the same bill I gotta pay. The same um medication with the hospital in get and I gotta buy, you gotta buy too. Right. So I don't know but you see, I'm going to tell you something. The only body benefit from the vision of the people is the politicians. Mm. And the same part the most meeting, there's where the division does happen. Right. Oh, are we going to look out for me people? And are we going to look out, look out for what? Mm. Look out for what? Mm. Them shall only fooling us. Right. There's a lot of people basically crying out against both parties. But if Mr. Mohammed decide to run because what is happening now there, there's a shift mr muhammad is seeing that people are backing him so the perfect time now is for him to actually gear up and run because the people is for him it's not a if chance maybe or not if you do a poll right now watch let me do this let me just make this simple if you want Mr. Mohammed to run for president, just share the video, like the video, comment in the video. He will see it. So this is now gathering the data. This will get him now to look at the data and see for himself 
that, hey, this thing, people, is really uh, wanting me to run. The people back in me, every day in his comments, every day in his comments, somebody post something else, somebody do this. People back in Mr. Muhammad. And the reason is, is because they want to change. Remember when we, they had said they bring in some change and we get the exchange, we didn't have a change. So this is a fresh now, uh, of, of uh, a fresher breath air, a fresher, uh, uh, a breath of fresh air, where if Mr. Muhammad run, people go and vote for him. And I'm telling you now, the youths, he got such an impact in Guyana that the youths would vote for him. I know these sure, because youths don't really vote. This true. But if, if he run, I could guarantee you, you know how many youths from the age of 18 to 24 gonna vote for you? You know how much people who just gonna stay, was gonna stay away from this election gonna vote for you? And like you said, the president in Suriname, he couldn't travel nowhere. So it doesn't even matter what critics says. Critics ain't got influence on people who got some intelligence. Critics got influence on people. He's, he's an entertainer. Since when did critics start getting influence over you, the people who smart, who could see through certain things? Since when critics could fool you? That's all I got to say. I, I, I need to add something to that. You know, as a taxi driver from Skellington, Amsterdam, I want to say something. I am guaranteed that if Mr. Mohammed don't run for president, if he don't run, if he don't run, yeah, only twenty five percent of the people in this country will vote. Mm. Believe me, and you, you might even get twenty five. Mr. Mustafa, the Minister of Agriculture, being in Sanford today, mm -hmm. and the youths in Sanford, Vial, and Okavo. Dark and plain, the only thing could make them go to the polls is if Mr. Muhammad mm. run for election. Mm. A lot of you feel the way. A lot. The man said, I make a time for strawberries. Mm. They, these are old, old people mm. and their, their, their parents. Mm. And they're looking for somebody mm. who could move them from one stage mm. to the next. Right. Because according to our govern, government, the opposition and the ruling party mm. is one. I'm telling you, their man is for the foreigners right. who could fold their pocket, mm. not the people. I, I want to ask a question. Where is the benefit of Ghanese from these resources that we get in? What we get in? Nothing. Mm. And if a man could come along and share his own wealth, Mm. If that man got the country well, he do better. Yeah. So meanwhile, hear critics talk about he can't travel. Meanwhile, he travel away. Mm. Later between the people. Right. Meanwhile, he gone away. Right. People gonna come in because they want what we got. Mm. They want what we got. So me got tell with what critics talking. Critics can't make no influence on nobody. Right. Ben and says quickly to start. He tried to justify himself. By saying this about the man and saying that about the man. You know, I listen to Mr. Mahmoud talk. You know, Mr. Mahmoud no matter talk critics. Mm. The man just talks a story, different explain what with the contract. Right. And he want him money, does it? Anybody who do a business with one day money. Exactly. That is business. Yeah. In the same, well, the man is a jackass. Mm. The man is a fool. Mm. The man is a critics go on, on, on television. Mm. He got on a media page mm. and, can, and this is what the man doing. At one time, the man even said, This man in education, that body is a, as a dog, and I kind of think this man is that way. Mm. You don't, you, you know, and this party agree with him because you know why? None of them come out and condemning this man. Yeah, 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 that's another thing, right? Nobody right. condemning this man. Yeah, yeah. People, I want mm. to know what mm. with the integrity mm. commission. Mm. Nobody comes in, but hold this man for the statement. Hold him up. It's only there here we get a lasso. Yeah, right, right, right. So, I want to say this now. You know, these politicians in this country working, mm. if you could talk for them, yeah. 
oh God, they buy you. Mm. Oh, they kiss you up. Right, right. But you stand up and talk about the wrong things they're doing. Mm. Brother, they will kill you. Right. So, Mr. Mohammed is the only man right now mm. could make him to me go to the police. Right. Me too. God above me. Mm. Me? No, I, I am telling you. Of my village, mm. the village before me, mm. you don't know, use phone vote. Mm. No, we're not. Right. Not for you taking on the poor thing, I am. But I'm telling you, if Mr. Muhammad run, oh. and just to wrap this up now, if Mr. Muhammad run for president, I'm telling you, just run. Just run for president. I endorse him, Mr. Muhammad. I back him, Mr. Muhammad. Just these two, two votes. If you're gonna vote for Mr. Muhammad, write it in the comments, share the video, tell people. This is how you're gonna, he's gonna know true data showing that people are for him. He already knows that already. He gotta know that already because even on his page, people are telling him, people are liking the posts, all kind of things. So he's become very popular amongst Guyanese and Guyanese now wants him to run for president. Any last words you wanna say? Yeah, I want to say something. Um, Mr. Critic's talking about US one investigate Mohammed and all kind of thing. Mm. I don't need to say something. Mm. US themselves want to investigate. Yeah. Look what France is doing to Africa. Mm. Where is the democracy? Mm. Where is human rights? Right. right. They colonize Africa until now. Mm. US and those countries, if you could deep and get to them, mm. they'll pat you on the shoulder and you know with a sword mm. and, 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 and call the sword. Mm. Right? But once you stand up against them for the wrong things, they like you. I could remember the seven Camelo to Africa. Mm. with 60 million US mm. for passing, you know, the gay bill. And just because the people stand up to it, mm. they said they want to send sanction. So me, I don't want US. Yeah, 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 yeah. US are kind to me. Mm. 